Hello, my name is Tom Baer. I'm a professor of medicine and I lead the prostate cancer program here at the OHSU Knight Cancer Institute. I'd like to discuss with you today immunologic therapy or immunotherapy for prostate cancer. Um, at the moment, we um, have one agent um, called Cell T, brand name for this agent is Provenge, that has been approved in use for prostate cancer. Um, this is a unique agent that's only approved in prostate cancer and one of the few immunologic agents in use against any cancer. Um, Provenge has been shown to extend survival uh, of patients with metastatic prostate cancer or prostate cancer that's spread to bones or other organs that is resistant to hormonal therapy, so that's progressing on standard hormonal treatment in patients who don't have significant symptoms related to their cancer. So that is the group of patients who are eligible for Cipula cell T therapy. Again, patients with metastatic prostate cancer that is progressing on hormonal therapy and is not causing a significant level of symptoms such as bone pain. Um, you need to be aware that Cipula cell T, while, has, while it extends survival has not been shown to reliably lower the blood levels of PSA or stop or delay uh, the progression of prostate cancer. So if you're experiencing uh, evidence of cancer progression either through rising PSA or through new or increasing lesions on a CAT scan or a bone scan, treatment with this immunologic therapy uh, is unlikely, is very unlikely to help in the short term. It appears that the immune therapy takes a long time to kick in and provides a long-term benefit with regard to survival but does not solve those short-term challenges of cancer progression. So if you choose to receive therapy with Cipolis LT, it is likely that we'll, when we see you back after completion of therapy that we'll see a higher PSA and that we'll need to institute an additional form of therapy to control your prostate cancer. Um, Cipolis LT is a, a, a very unique therapy in how it's delivered. It is custom made for each patient using his own immune cells. Uh, the way this treatment is done is that a, a, a sample of your immune cells are collected uh, through a proced procedure called phoresis. It's quite similar to a dialysis procedure. So if you've ever seen or heard of someone getting dialysis for kidney failure, that's roughly what the experience is like. It involves being hooked up to a, a blood filtration machine through two um, intravenous lines, typically one in each arm, and filtration of your blood for um, a period of time, an hour, two, or three, to collect a sample of your white cells, your immune cells. It's important for you to know that the procedure does not remove your entire immune system, just a small sample of it, so we don't believe that uh, it increases your risk of infections or compromises your immunity. Those immune cells are then shipped to a processing facility, um, incubated overnight with a prostate cancer-related protein that's specially designed to stimulate them. And it's shipped back and two days after, two or three days after they were collected, they're given back to you through an IV. So each Provenge treatment involves two visits, a collection of your immune cells followed by uh, uh, processing that happens uh, out of your site in a factory um, and followed by an IV infusion of your own cells back into your body. Um, these treatments are given three times every two weeks. So a complete course of Cipolla cell T therapy takes about five to six weeks to administer and involves six visits. Um, side effects of Cipolla cell T generally are quite modest. Uh, we expect um, some side effects uh, around uh, the time of um, phoresis, sometimes numbness or tingling, 
in the arms and hands or around your lips can occur if your calcium runs low, which is a, not an uncommon side effect of uh, going through phoresis. The phoresis center will go over in more detail with you what those side effects might be like, but if you have any uh, unusual sensations during the phoresis or the cell collection procedure, um, you should alert the phoresis staff right away. During the infusion, we don't typically expect side effects, but sometimes we see people have an allergic reaction uh, which can involve hives, fevers, uh, sensation of warmth, but also a low blood pressure or uh, lightheadedness. So if you have any sensations during the infusion of your cells, alert the nurse immediately. We'll likely stop the infusion and see what we can do to make the rest of the infusion more comfortable and safe for you. Uh, it is common for um, people to experience a mild flu-like illness for a day or two typically uh, after the infusion. You may experience low-grade fevers, muscle aches, feeling generally achy, feeling a little bit tired, a little bit like having a mild flu. Not everybody experiences this, and if you don't, don't worry. It doesn't mean that the treatment was ineffective, uh, but don't be surprised if you feel that way. Uh, that, in a nutshell, is what going through Cipolla cell T treatment is like. Uh, don't hesitate to get some reading materials and ask your physician any questions that you may have after viewing this video. Thank you very much.